Hello and welcome my beautiful Sagittarius. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of October the 28th to November the 3rd. Can you believe we're saying that? I can't. It just seems to be going by so fast. But anyway, this is a general, as you know, and not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. Now, before I start, I, you know, I, I'm looking at these cards and, you know, there's a lot of swords here, my beautiful Sag. You know, I think you've got some concerns about making decisions. You're losing uh, faith here in something. Um, you know, you might be involved in a no-win situation battle here, but at the end of the day, it's going to be over. So I'm really happy that these cards are here and you end up with the Ten of Swords, which means it's going to work out. So... Um, if you're looking at them here and you know your cards as well, don't get yourself all upset about this because you've got a lot of other cards here saying that there was a struggle to get you to this point, but it's going to be over. Now, starting off with your download message, you've got a leap forward, which is good. You know, they never say a step backwards or a leap backwards. They always say a leap forward. So, you know, we're coming in here with some really good cards, some oracle messages here, which are going to allow you to anchor yourself in a better position. Um, you had your struggles here, I can see, but you're moving forward and trusting your intuition to guide you along the way. So this is a good movement forward. Now, it comes in with this really cute chameleon. And we know that chameleons have the ability to change uh, and adapt to their environment with their colors and, and everything. And this chameleon says you need to act as if, as if you are capable of creating whatever you want, okay, the, the difference that you want to make. So, but you need to prepare for changes that are going to greatly benefit you. And the outer conditions are changing around you and you're required to come uh, it, you know, and to, to go with the flow with that, okay? Uh, you know, this is about co-creating your greatest dream right now and feeling sensitive. Well, maybe you are. Come in, you know, that could come in handy maybe, enabling you to determine how to best adapt to your environment and the people in it. So you're, you're going through a change here. The chameleon is all about change, right? Developing something new, being able to be amicable and adaptable, okay? So you're going to find yourself being more flexible right now and being able to move forward. Now, as I had said, you do have the Ten of Swords, but the Ten of Swords is that card. I mean, it's the ultimate betrayal, stabbed in the back, held back, couldn't go forward, you know, bad mouth, the whole ball of wax here, which is, you know, I, it's a really nasty energy. But the good part of it is it's done. You've dealt with this. It's over. It's behind you now. You're on your feet now. You're creating a new leap forward. You have the ability to adapt, to change, and create what it is you want. So the worst is over now, okay? And you've learned that you, you're going to make those changes that are going to be so profound that they're going to help you move forward in a more positive direction. Almost like they say leap. You're going forward at a really good pace. Now, in your focus part of your reading, you've got the anchor. And, <coughs> excuse me, the anchor is all about you being able, the minute you feel secure and you know that you've got this position to, dr to drop this anchor safely and securely, okay? But the thing I like about the anchor means that at any time you choose to go in a new direction, you just do that. You're adapting and you're making changes right now. So some of you might be looking for more security here in a situation in your life <clears throat> and you're going to feel the ability to drop your anchor and stay there for a while. Okay, this is a card of security, being stable. It comes in, again, another Swords of Two of Swords, where there could be a choice or a decision you really are digging your heels in. You feel as though you've locked horns with a situation or a person. You um, you, you really don't want to make this decision because you're not seeing the picture in complete clarity. Okay, you need to be open-minded. Uh, if you can't make a decision, find somebody who's biased, somebody who can be a mediator, somebody who can say, well, you know, you got this, you either do this or you do that, and this, these are the consequences you're going to get if you do this or that, right? So mediators are there to lay the cards on the table in a fair and equitable manner to see what we have to win or lose, gain or lose. So I do think you will be able to, right now, you know, when it comes in with the anchor, you all you want to do is have security here. And maybe you're fighting with a legal situation over money or property property or anything like that and this is what your your goal is to get this anchor down and feel secure again okay um i think if you keep your uh, mind open and your eyes open to all possibilities you'll be able to make this decision 
okay now coming in uh sagittarius with your your center card which is your challenge um you've got a great match here and it says you are on the verge of finding the perfect work for you don't give up you may need to grow your own business to be truly happy now this has to do with work um this particular card so some of you you might be finding that you're wanting to do something different you want to feel that security you're willing to adapt and make those changes you don't want to be held back anymore and maybe this is where some of you are going to say oh i'm going to i'm going to stay here at my place of work <clears throat> but in the meantime i'm going to make a website for myself where when i when i'm ready i'm going to move on okay so some of you could be growing your own business right now and that sometimes it, you know to see that satisfaction come in don't doubt your motives here because it comes in with that eight of swords which is you know that stinking thinking card where i'm presuming and assuming that it's not going to work out i feel as though it's going to fail and i'm being blocked and step out of your way because this is all about doing that presuming and assuming and not really seeing the picture in complete clarity so it's time to to open your eyes realize that you've got all the free will to go after what you want for this security okay it's the you know this card comes in it says you know the the challenge here is you realizing you are capable of coming out ahead of the game here okay of being a winner of you know of being able to be successful about being able to do what it is you want to do okay so that's it's a great match they're saying that you can grow now you're finding the perfect job or the work or your business that you want to do to bring you to this point of stability it might require some change here that's okay coming in in your messages from spirit spirit wants to know you to know that you know as rare as a four-leaf clover is something's going to surface that you're not going to believe is going to bring you the best luck you could imagine I love this card. So, you know, the clover is about bringing you luck and happiness and making things better. Uh, you know, um, it, it's beautiful. So it's a really nice surprise that comes in. It's about green and fertile and promising growth. And, you know, and the white flower symbolizes a purity of luck. So <clears throat> this to me is going to be an, a, a, a sudden surprise that brings you in something that you just can't believe is going to work out in your favor. Now, coming in under that is that Five of Swords. So, you know, be careful this week. This is about, you know, is the juice worth the squeeze or is the battle worth the risk and <clears throat> the consequences? You know, this is a no-win situation. So if you're being coerced into a verbal, you know, argument or debate or something like that, I would think long and hard, really. What are you going to lose at the end of the day? You may prove your point, but it could you know it could it could work out in your favor but and then and then again you may have some loss in the process okay you made your point you were right but is it worth losing the job the friendship you know that type of thing so think about that at the end of the week which is possible future energy you've got that beautiful card of the stars so this is a card that says there's going to be abundance beyond your wildest dreams out there so reach for the stars it's about feeling inspired and feeling optimistic and you know and knowing that things can work out for you when we get the star card no matter what deck it's in it's always a card that says you're walking in your light you can see light at the end of the tunnel you now have a clear sight line you are able now to dream the biggest dreams and you can see them coming to fruition all you need to do here is trust your intuition okay all you need to do is make sure you do your homework that's that's finding out information that you need to find out um you know trusting your inner wisdom patience you know with yourself too being completely trustworthy with yourself believing in the kindness and wisdom of the universe you know following your own guidance okay it's about you know this card is not about action but about becoming crystal clear on what it is you want to create personally so if you've been feeling worried about not taking action on your dreams then release those concerns and be at peace but this is a card of patience too okay but it's going to come in and reward you at this time okay your intuitive abilities are greatly enhanced and it's, it's so important that you trust your intuition your emotions are like a really powerful com compass pointing you in the right direction so follow your follow that with confidence okay so you know at the end of the day you know this is a leap forward for some of you and you've had struggles to get there nothing worthwhile you know is you know comes easy right we've all you know we've all heard that adage that 
that sentence. So remember that. You're becoming more adaptable, flexible. Uh, you're going to want to put your anchor down and feel more secure. I see that happening. You're going to get some unexpected, beautiful uh, windfall of luck landing at your feet that's going to allow you to dream the biggest dreams and see them come to fruition. So, wow, this is an amazing reading. Okay, so... <clears throat> telling me to cut again so coming in in the beginning of the week with the end of those hard times you've been given the two of cups so you could be partnering up with somebody collaborating <clears throat> sharing ideas but it is the card of communicating uh you know very well with somebody else but it can also be the card of where you're going to meet somebody else and you're going to be uh you know maybe maybe making a commitment with, with somebody else okay so um it's about you know very close friendships that can develop into love right? It's also the end of a conflict. Maybe there's something here in communication. You've tied up loose ends and you've got closure now, okay? Um, you could also be receiving something in the unexpected uh, unexpected gift where somebody steps forward, but it's a powerful, powerful relationship and a powerful connection with somebody. Now, I always like to look at this as it can be in love, but it can also be partnership and business to bring you security, okay? Stronger security. So let's see what we have here for our focus part of the reading and the two of swords you've got the hangman so something's taking time you might be dragging your heels here to make this decision um, but sometimes it can be um it can just be things out of your control where maybe uh you're waiting for something to come in and it's sitting on a desk or it's in a computer or you're in a you're a number right so but in the meantime you're going to keep moving forward you're going to look at things from a higher perspective broader perspective here uh maintaining your own integrity here not changing for anybody as you make a decision here okay you want security here so this is a decision that is going to involve your future security stability coming in with that eight of swords yeah you're going to give it up. You're going to stop worrying so much. You've got a great situation coming in here with the Wheel of Fortune. Not only did you get the four-leaf clover, but this is a card that says you can have it all if you just step out of your way. Don't shoot your foot off and sabotage this luck that's coming your way. The Wheel of Fortune is that card of good luck, ultimate satisfaction, happiness. You could also be thinking about traveling uh, on any wheeled vehicle. Maybe you're taking a road trip somewhere. Coming in next with messages from spirit and your guides, you've got the, the hermit, which comes in with this five of swords. So reflect long and hard. This is self-reflection as well. Taking time to step aside and say, mm, you know what, maybe I won't get into that no-win situation. I want to maintain my stability here and be happy with the luck that's coming my way. You know, there will always be those that want to ride on your coattail of success and maybe jealous, a little green. Um, you know, this is your card that says, no, I'm going to take time out and think about what I'm going to do first. I'm not going to get involved in that drama. But the hermit goes into self-reflection and into and he, he takes time out. He often leans into the wisdom of others, mentors, people who can guide him, coaches, therapists, whoever. And he, he, he gains regains his stability and his footing again. And now he's so confident he can go out there and he can light the path, teach, preach, and convey that lesson to other people. You could be doing that as well. At the end of this reading, you've got the star card double message. Wow. So we know that the star is that card of, you know, really stepping forward and seeing success coming in, dreaming the biggest dreams and knowing they're possible to come into fruition. This is about you feeling renewed enthusiasm and joy and your dreams being realized now coming in. It's a card you need to feel really good about and, and, and extend that gratitude out there into the universe and thank them for this. So it's been beautiful. Also, if there's been relationships that have been challenged in the past, they're going to be rekindled now. Things are going to work out in your favor. Wow. Well, Sagittarius, this is your general reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful Sagittarians.